Hey guys, Ford Fanatic here, back with another YouTube video today. And um, today, I'm actually going to be reviewing Quid. The app called Quid. And it's a really fun app. I've had it for, I don't know, I'd have to say, let's see, today is the 17th or the 18th. Yeah, today's 17th. So I'd have to say, I've had it for about, three weeks four weeks and i really enjoy the app i got my sister hooked to this app and it's a really fun app so um i guess i'm gonna be explaining it and just to begin or to help beginners too um so you can also find help if you scroll all the way down they usually do it in the morning um so they're based off of east central time i'm in um Uh, East, no, what? Oh, no, they're in East Standard Time. Ah, uh, shoot, I forgot what time zone I'm in. Oh, I'm stupid. Uh, but basically, they're three hours ahead of me. That's all I can say. So, that's good for me a little bit. But yeah, they're three hours ahead of me, but let me give you a hint. So, if you scroll down, you go to Tips. So, this is where beginners can get help. But um, I'm doing this video, to, so if you guys don't understand this, I can help you guys too. And also, I will also be able to um, explain better and give you guys some more tips. So, um, one of the ones that beginners would need to know is the art of trading. So we're going to click on this, it's going to go to a link, and so... Can't yeah, find that super rare emoji. Is that limited edition card eluding you? Trade your ways to complete this set. Now, they have flash packs, um, which usually have more cards in it at a time and a better chance. So those are good. And um, if you don't have the card, but you have a whole bunch of other like okay cards, so say like they like collecting. Um, if we go back, I'll show you the different things um so say like they like oh shoot say like they like collecting um rick and morty and you like collecting adventure time and you have a few rick and mortys that they don't have from cards or pops then they might want to give you the card you're missing for adventure time so, in my opinion, pops are worth a little bit more. I mean, just because they cost more. But it also depends on the number. So, let me go to my collection and show you guys. For Valiant Comics, I have a low one, which would be good for explaining. Um, it's, like, all the way down here. I think I skipped it. So, they, like, there's just so many things you can collect for cards and stickers and stuff right here so i got a whole set and I, like it actually took me a long time to get and i traded it for the first one so this one right here the first one uh or no, card one nothing could stop these machines so i have number 40 out of 500 and this is first edition so right now these are sold out and how you can tell is um uh, first, let me explain all the other ones. So right now, card number one, I have number 40 out of 500. So it's 500 of them, and I got number 40. Um, for card four, I got number 1,496 out of 2,000. And so after you also complete the whole set, you um, can go to ranks, and it will tell you your ranks. I don't understand how they calculate it. But, um, yeah. And I figured out this recently. If you go to cards and you look at it, the numbers right here. So, like, uh, for card number two, I'm all that's left. Uh, and, and you could tell it's number two because it says two and it's number two on the list. So, how you can tell that, um, how many are left is because it would the number below it that's how many are left and i figured out this recently so there's 74 cards left my number one card 
uh, for 40 out of a uh, 500 that sold out so you can't get it anymore and so you can also tell from these card packs so if you go to odds you can see you can't get number one anymore but you can get all these other cards still now these other sets what this means is if I were to buy this card pack I would get something from the bloodshot okay but I wouldn't get all card like I wouldn't get all seven cards from the bloodshot I would get maybe a green base a yellow base and a white base card and you can see the chances right here so you have like a 51.93 chance to get you know bloodshot nanites and then 79.06 chance to get a green base card and like the higher it is technically so like yellow base is 91 white base is 97 so which is good because if you don't have like if you're new and you want to collect this because this is a very difficult set i believe and i will and i will show you how to tell um so if you are new and you need cards there's some sometimes because green base base cards are usually what you're gonna at least get in a lot of packs like it's what you're gonna get most of the time um now i can also show you i like to have it organized like this if you go to explore and you hit valiant comics so i have it set up like this there would be a list right here and i have it set up to where um, it's displaying details view, so it says the name of the collection, so Valiant Sticker Starter, Pro Base 2016 Starter, and then I have it, like, if I finished it, the value, if not, it will say 72 cards, as in that's how many there is, and then it will also say if it's easy and stuff, because I have it sorted by easiest. Now, Valiant has a lot, and I like Valiant myself, so... If you go all the way to the very bottom, right here, it's difficult, my bad. Not very difficult, but it's difficult. Some of them are almost impossible. This is one of the difficult sets that I collected. And so, yeah. Um, so, let me see if I can find one. For example, maybe this one will have the other set things I was talking about. Uh, most of the time, their flash packs will. No, this is another one, a base. Um, sometimes, because they do flash packs every now and then, their flash packs will have, um, so sometimes they'll do a 13. So, example, X-Files, uh, because they have X-Files. I don't think they've done it with X-Files, but here's just an example. They have a 13 card draw pack. So you can get 13 cards. It costs so much. So they have a set, like a set you can get it from, right? And then they have 12 other sets that you could possibly get cards from. Um, which is good. Because if you're still new, you can get those cards. Um, let's see here. Uh, yeah, so I've already collected, you know, all the yellow bases. Honestly, you don't really have to buy yellow base packs because you can just get them, or not yellow base itself, but the base packs because you can get them from opening other packs. So save your guys, um, your guys' money because um, if I go to here, right, cards again, and I just click on number one. So John Duggett or Do Dojet or Doget. If I swipe up, you can see all the packs you can get him from. So you don't have to really buy the base sets. You can just or base set packs. You can just really buy other packs and get it from it. Um that's what I would suggest because it's like, um, the yellow base part one, right? For a five draw pack, it's going to cost you what? 
I don't know, for a seven drop package, it costs you one thousand three hundred. Now, uh, for this one, it didn't show. Okay, there it goes. So look, I could get this one thousand one hundred fifty pack, the uh, photographic evidence. Um, although I don't, because I can't see it. Although I don't know how many cards you would get, you can still get cards for the set from it. So I would always. Like, and it's cheaper, too. So, I would always um, buy other packs. That's my tip to you guys. And always look for the low numbers. Low numbers are good. Um, now, there are a lot of free packs. Let me find one that I haven't, or that I don't really open free packs in. Um, Ed, Ed, and Eddie. Hopefully, there's one. So, yes, there's. So, if you go to shop. You can find free packs, but there's an easier way to do it. If you scroll down, eventually they'll have something called free pack of the day. And you'll be able to see all the packs. And it would just be easier to just get it instead of searching through that long list. Um, uh, so let me try something else. Um, what was the one I was doing the other day? Pushers, Bobby's Burgers, and try Clarence. So I know Adventure Time has them. What is that? Start a card that's not available. Stickers. Alright, so I'll just do one I've already did. But Bobby's Burger. If I go to feed. Oh shoot, was this the one? I don't know. If I go to here. Or was it Buffy? Shoot, I'm sorry, guys. Um, if you just keep on going and you look for, like, free pack of the day. Uh, right. It's right here. Uh, right here. So, if you find usually these, um, I know there's some in Adventure Time. If you just go to feed, scroll down for free pack of the day, uh, and you click on it. It will show up a whole list of all the packs that are free, which I've already gotten. Um, but this is really good for starting. Oh, no, I haven't gotten that one, which I will do right now. And um, there will also be, like, some free pops every now and then um, to get you started, which saves you some money. And also, I've gotten, like, uh, for sister location pops. Um, I got another one open. Which I'll show you for Five Nights at Freddy's. They have sister location minifigures. I got one of the like hard ones to get. Oh wow. Oh I didn't open all of them last night. No, yeah I have all this to open. So. That's just the easier way. So instead of going to shop. And just searching your way through all of it. That's easier. So. Um. What was I saying? <laughs> Oh, yeah, Five Nights at Freddy's, so, sister location ones, um, those ones are fun to collect if we go to shop, um, now, sometimes they'll have, excuse me, <coughs> so sometimes they'll have, um, um, pop boxes, and even sticker packs you can get, which have better odds, or usually more, um, cards you can get from them at like a cheaper price um so there's 220 left and there was 4,500 packs you could have gotten but people usually like there's sometimes where there'll be like 2,000 uh pouches right in one minute boom they'll be down to like 500 one minute later you'll be down oh no so 2,500 will be gone in one minute the next minute, 1,000 will be gone, so you're left with 500. And usually, for those, you have to spam the buy button just to get one. But then after that, you can just keep on buying them. Because um, it will give you an option at the end. Let me refresh, because I know they were supposed to do something soon. <clears throat> so, we have this SAS pack. Um, again, you can see the chances... Um, let me go back to tips, and let me see if I can find anything that I haven't explained.
<coughs> and maybe one day too I'll do a giveaway on my channel um because I really do enjoy this app um I'm pretty sure I explained so I explained um um I explained basically um the numbers of the packs and stuff. So I think I got packs covered and I don't think I could have explained anything else. But um yeah, I have over 5 shoot. <coughs> Sorry guys. Um, but I have over 5000 items. Um 72 successful trades and 36 complete sets. Um I would say the easiest ones would be the Marvel, because the Groot ones, they're free. Watch. So you can get up to three for free. I've gotten my limit. And, yeah, there's only one sticker in it. So it's easy to collect. Um, I I might do a giveaway, because I got, like, second editions for it, tons of third editions, and it's recently gone to fourth editions. Um... The oh yeah, I don't think I explained the additions. So after a sticker, so right now because these are pretty new, there's still one million to collect of the groups. After those are finished, uh, there'll be like maybe a day or two or even a week of waiting, and then they'll put out a fifth edition. So all the previous editions will be worth more, especially the lower numbers. So that's a way to invest too. And if um and you just got to think about what people like to collect. Like the 4th of July, they had 4th of July um a firework set. Uh let me see if I can find that. It was in Labs. So I'm actually placed number 9th on the leaderboard. Um and I was buying those out like crazy. Um and it came out before um we came out before July 4th, so, yeah, fireworks, yes, so, now there's two left, and you can't get them, it's either glitch or there's two left, because they, they don't have, you know, a one draw pack, so, other than that, um, yeah, I got really lucky when I got all these, and I got some pretty low numbers. <clears throat> My sister, because she plays, like I was saying, she got number 35, and I traded her it, and she didn't care. She, like, she got way underpaid. Like, she was like, that's all I want. I'm like, are you serious? She's like, yeah. I'm like, okay, that's a deal. Um, so, yeah, I might be giving away, like, I might, because I got, like, nine. If yeah, if if I look at every single one, I have at least three sets of the Fourth of July stickers. Three sets of it, so I could probably give away a set. It will be my worst numbers or okay numbers, um, but I might give away a set for you guys. Um, maybe later, I'll have to think about it. But there's so many cool things about Coid. You can also, if you go to feed. Um, this, uh, uh, let's just go to add a comment. And you can actually use the stickers uh, to put in the 4th of July stickers. As you can use them. So, let's see here. Let's just put in, um, Hi. So, it will, oh, I put in 5 oh, oh, But, yeah, so you can show, you know, your um collections of... Oh, let me go do another one so it doesn't look like I'm spamming. Um, but, yeah, you can actually sh show off your collections of it, of your things. So, like, these people right here, they showed off their collections of... I don't think it was this one, but of another pack they have to see if anyone wants to trade... Or stuff like that. So, you can put in, like, your whole set if you really want to. So, if I go back to... Or let's do DC Comics. Like, they have a whole bunch of them. And I love it. Like, this app is amazing. 
So I could just put in all these stickers, right? And say, I have this set. And so, yeah, like, it's cool. Of course I have this set, because they'll be able to see the stickers. And it's just really cool, and you can trade with people. Um, I actually don't have any trades right now. But yeah, I have just a lot. Uh, I'll accept this person. But, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed. You can also add me. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Peace.